my sidekick cat isn't here today. You get just me. So I am super excited. Today I'm going to be sharing something you should have in your speakers toolbox that a lot of new speakers don't have. Uh, and this came up this week because we are hosting our uh, summit coming up again right away. Hang on, I've got my phones playing in the background. We are hosting our summit again in a, um, gosh, less than two weeks. And so we have all these people applying. And for people that are newer, they there's some critical information that they may not have ready to submit on the fly. But before I dig in, if you're watching and we have never met before, my name is Kim. I am one of the founders of Profitable Impact Academy. And at the Academy, we are passionate about working with entrepreneurs to help them gain more confidence in what they offer, more clarity in what you offer and in being on stage because we love to help you monetize your message and get clients on repeat. And believe me when I say there is so much more to being a profitable speaker than just getting on stage and sharing a story or content bombing your audience <laughs> because that's just not enough. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Ta today I'm talking about building a speaker toolbox, right? So when I started my business, I there were a lot of things I didn't have prepared. And you know, when you start applying for a lot of stages, and yes, I get it, live events aren't happening, but there are probably even more online stages now than there ever were before because everyone's stuck at home, right? And so there are so many different types of events you could be seeking out and applying for. And there's one thing that happens when you're new is you're just not prepared with some critical information. And maybe if you're like me, you don't think to like save it all in one nice little file. But here's the thing, sometimes opportunities like drop into your lap on the fly. And you want to have that information ready to go so that there's zero hesitation in saying yes, because here's, here's the thing, right? If you don't have your information ready to go, the first thing that will happen in your brain will be like, well, maybe next time, because I'm not prepared this time. So if you prepare ahead of time, you just have an automatic yes. When you get, you know, when you have an opportunity where someone just like randomly reaches out and says, hey, will you be on my summit? Are you interested in this? Or will you be on my Facebook live show? Lots of people are launching Facebook live shows just like this one. So what are the things you need to have? So here's what you're going to do. You're going to open a spreadsheet. This is going to be a tool you're going to use over and over and over again. Okay. You're going to obviously have your name and your phone number. Yes. Type it out so that you can just copy and paste it into application forms. Everything, every shortcut you can create for yourself that will save you time. You want to do it in your business, especially if you intend on growing to a six figure business. Cause I'll tell you what, when you get to six figures, you don't have time to be typing out your name over and over again. So you're going to have your name, your phone number, your social media links. So like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, if you have Pinterest, anything that you feel will be beneficial for the event organizer to know. Now, they may not use them all in promotion, but they may want to have them. You just don't know. Maybe somebody does use Pinterest. OK, then you're going to have. Here's the crucial piece that a lot of people don't have ready is your talk title and three bullet points about your talk so that your speaker or your summit promoter um, is gonna be able to talk about what your, your talk is. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, I don't know. Now here's the thing, you should not be building a new talk for every opportunity you have. You should have one talk built, that's what we do in our mastermind, one talk built that you can repurpose and change on the fly. Believe me, once you have uh, your slides built one time, it becomes so much easier to change and adapt to different themes or different types of events, okay? So you're gonna know your talk title, you're gonna have three points that are the key points of the talk you're going to deliver. Then you're also gonna have some kind of gift. So often if you're invited to speak on an online event, they will let you give away a free gift. So typically it's a freebie download, right? Some kind of workbook, ebook, uh, spreadsheet, cheat sheet, tips, tricks, whatever that may be. You wanna have that ready to go. OK, and you want to have something like that, guys. This is we talk about this at boot camp a lot, having the 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 beginning of your funnel built. If you've never heard that word before, go ask Kat. OK, <laughs> go message Kat. But you have something to offer so that people know how they can connect with you further if they love you and they and they want to get into the beginning stages of getting to know you better. But if you just give a talk and you blow them away and you don't have some way of capturing that person's information to continue nurturing the relationship and growing that relationship with them, you're literally just leaving client leads on the table. And so you want to have something, even if it's a free call, 
a link to your calendar for a free call is a great free gift to give away, okay? Now, the other thing you'll find sometimes, especially on summits or gift giveaways, is they will have like, they may ask you if you wanna do a VIP gift. So same thing, you need to know what it is, a brief description and a link for how the people that are, you know, the audience of the summit or the show can claim that gift, okay? Links are important to the people that are organizing. Then a short bio, okay, you guys, if you give, if you're being introduced on a summit and you have like a really complex bio that's difficult to read, it affects how the presenter can introduce you, okay? So like a short bio, 150 words or less, if it's really long, then probably what's gonna happen is the person introducing you is gonna cut it short on their own and you don't know where they're gonna cut it short. So if you can keep it to under 150 words, you're golden. And it doesn't have to be super serious. It can be a little bit fun, especially for something online, right? Most people, we like, we listen to the bio and we just like, we zone it out because it's boring, right? It's just like a lot of credentials and people don't really care about listening to credentials. So what can you do to make it a little bit more fun, but not too long? If you submit like a four paragraph bio, to an event organizer, I, like especially for something online, I guarantee you they're not gonna read it all, okay? So short bio, read it out loud. If there are any words you're tripping over, guaranteed the person introducing you is gonna trip over them. So those are the main things. You're gonna put these in a spreadsheet. Now here's what I do. I like to take it a step further because sometimes depending on the event, my bio will be tweaked a little bit. So what I do in my spreadsheet is I will link to the document that has the different types of bios. Okay, so I may have like shorter ones, longer ones, I keep them all in one document. I'm gonna link to that bio, but I'm gonna note which bio I submitted to that event. And which, like make sure if you're changing talk titles that you're noting, what is the talk title you submitted to that event? Because sometimes you could be applying for an event that's like four or six months in the future. And if you're not keeping track of the information, they're gonna come back and be like, oh yeah, you're applied to, you applied to speak and you're approved and you're gonna be like, oh great, like I, I don't even know what I said I was gonna talk about or what my talk title was or what bio I gave them. And you don't wanna have to go back and ask, right? So keep that all in the spreadsheet. In fact, what we do is we track, like here's what we applied for, here's the information we submitted, okay? For like talk title bio, everything else obviously is standard. But you need to start pulling this together. If you're a new speaker, you wanna build your toolkit so that you are ready to jump on every opportunity that falls in your lap. But not only that, but to be able to go out and seek opportunities and feel like you're prepared because you have all that necessary information. Now, the last thing, you guys, this one grinds my gears, okay? You're gonna get asked for a headshot. Make sure it has your name in the label. Don't submit a headshot that just says like JPEG 110. Like when we were doing the summit, we got like over 20 headshots. I don't want to have to like keep track of whose headshot is which one. It's your job as the speaker to make sure that your assets have your name on them. Okay. And you're going to want to either be able to have it linked so that the person can easily download it out of Dropbox or, or Google Drive. Or you're going to want to have it built on a speaker page on your website when you're ready to take it to that next step. Right. But make it really easy for the person to get it. If they ask for it, you should be able to just like link it so they can download it. Okay. You guys. Now, here's the thing. Like once you have these, you're gonna create a feeling of being more prepared so that you're ready to just go for it and start looking for events. There, you, there are so many online events happening right now. Like I'm getting like targeted in my phone for so many summits, so many opportunities. Don't be afraid if you see a summit and you're like, oh, that's gonna be a great fit for me. That's totally my jam, that's like my niche reach out to the organizer and say, hey, like I see you running the summit, are you gonna be doing it again in the future, right? What are your application criteria? Because typically most summits will have some type of criteria. It could be a pay to play, you might have to just pay. Um, it could be that you have to be willing to promote it a certain amount of times and that you have a minimum number of, on your email list, right? Now here's my last point. It doesn't matter if you're doing a summit, if you're on a podcast, if you're on a Facebook Live show, you're being interviewed, whatever it is, be a good promotional partner, guys. This is really important to have in your toolkit. If you are interviewed and the person like spends their time with you, they share it across their social media channels, they send it to their email list, and you don't, you don't take the time to be a good promotional partner, they're not gonna wanna have you back, okay? You wanna put in as much effort promoting that as they are. Not only that, but it gives you like street cred. Why would you not be taking those assets and promoting it everywhere? Like, hey, look at me. 
Someone wanted me on their show. Hey, look at me. I'm being on the summit. Like plaster that everywhere. Yes. Do a humble brag. Let everyone know that you are a speaker, that you are being sought after. And, and it allows people to know what you know, because you get to share great content in these opportunities. Okay. So plaster it everywhere. Don't be the world's best kept secret. If you want to be known as a speaker, you have to put yourself out as a speaker. So don't be afraid to share those assets and repurpose them and reuse them. Remember, social media is a very short um, life cycle. So like Facebook is like 24 hours. Instagram is probably even less, right? Like reuse these assets over and over again. Don't be afraid to reshare them. Most people aren't going to see them the first time unless you're doing paid ads. Okay, so that's it. I know this one went deep, but this is really important information that's going to help you grow your business not only as a speaker, but to create more profit in your business because seeking out opportunities is one of the things that's gonna help you grow your business faster. It's all about exposure, you guys, it's a numbers game. So get in front of more people so you increase those exposure numbers. We will see you next time. Have a great rest of your week. Thanks for being here if you were live. I don't see any comments and I'm sorry. If you join later, let me know, was this useful? And if you know someone you think needs to know this, don't be afraid to share. And, and all, of course, we will always take hearts and love. We love thumbs up. So catch you next week. Bye.